So here's the head, finally got it off the engine. It took a while, but we got it off, and yep, it's not looking too good there. The valve is broke off right there, the exhaust valve. JR said he had an engine guy or a machine shop here that can fix this head no problem. Grind everything down, weld everything back up, and reform everything, and that's pretty amazing. So let's go to the machine shop tomorrow and see how good they can do. And it's pretty clear why it was running like it was, guys. I can't believe we did as many shows like this. I mean, that valve is stuck in there pretty good, so. Hopefully this machine shop can do the trick and get this uh, head welded back up and reshaped and get it running like new. So here we have a nice used tire that J.R. McNeil was kind enough to sell to us. Uh, it's got two patches in it and a fix right here, but I was talking to Buddy Tompkins. He says it holds air, no problem. So we're going to mount it up right here on the rim. This rim's a bit beat up, but we have an O-ring that goes in here. There it is. So that'll stretch in there, fit down in that channel. And then just for fun, we throw a little bit of silicone in there just to back it up because I have had them leak in there with just the O-ring. So we throw some silicone in there to help out. Put the bead lock on there. So let's go ahead and get this thing together. Good, how are you guys doing? Not too bad. Fixing junk, as you can see. Yeah, I'm glad you guys to be here, enjoy our shop. Yep, the air condition, thank you. I'm not used <laughs> to this Florida heat, you are. Yeah, we spoiled you guys, you know, but hey, that's what it's here for. Glad you guys could uh, enjoy yourself while you're here. I just did a couple last week myself. Did you? Yeah. So guys, we're gonna take this hubcap off right here. There's gonna be a girdle in there. Take the nuts off, pull the girdle off, pull the planet gears out, and then we'll be able to access the spindle nut, tighten them up, because right now I have a little bit of play in the hub. Hub will wobble when the big tire is on there. We're gonna take that play out of there, tighten it up so we can just go send it again. So let's get to work. So I got this planetary corner back together. So now we have to go outside. My dad broke an axle shaft. Let's go out and see his progress. So now we're gonna tear this corner apart and figure out if it's an outer shaft or an inner shaft. Okay, we had a storm roll past. That looked pretty nasty. It rained pretty hard. So back to work over here. We are changing an outer axle shaft on my father's truck. As you can see right here, she's broke off. Nice job right there. So now we're gonna yank this spindle off, get all the spindle nuts off, yank that spindle off, pull the rest of the outer axle shaft out, and put her back together. So this is called a ball and claw setup. There's five balls right here. One will go in the center, and then you manipulate the balls into a universal joint pretty much. Yep, let's manipulate these balls.
and we want to crank it. So we got the engine head back from the machine shop. They did some amazing work. As you guys seen, this chamber right here was pretty much totaled. It looked like the head was completely done. But uh, that machine shop, they whittled out some aluminum and it looks pretty much like brand new. And hopefully she'll run a little better this weekend. It took some doing, but we finally got this thing to take air. Had to get the tires seated around there. Had to get on top of it, jump up and down. But the bead is now seating around the bead lock and the back side. So, the tie torque right there. All right, got the blower set down on. Now I'm gonna hook up the blower belt and then I will put the converter bolts in down there. The header's on and it should be pretty much buttoned up. Fuel line's on, put the mag in, start it, time it, yell at it, cuss at it. Alrighty, got the engine shoved back in there. Everything hooked up, everything connected, mag set in there. Oh yeah, plug wires ran. It's pretty much ready to start. We're just going to go get some sleep and then fresh start in the morning, get it started, timed, get the bedsides on it, get it in the trailer, and then head off to the show. We have a show tomorrow night, so gotta run. Okay, so the engine is running, it is timed, it is ready to go to work. So now we're just gonna get the tailgate on, we have the bedsides on, tailgate's gonna go on, and then into the trailer it goes. I thought this dude was real, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, man, let us use your shop. No problem, Mikey. The great air condition down here in Florida. Yeah, no problem. Well, we did have some AC on. I know, I said much appreciated. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Try yeah. not to break nothing this weekend. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> See you, buddy. Yeah, thank you, everything, dude. Yeah. All right, we are loaded up. We're gonna head down the road to Ocala. It's only about an hour away. Showtime is in about three and a half hours, so we got some time. We got some time, unless something goes wrong. 